be polite to all, but intimate with few. The most successful war seldom pays for its losses. I like the dreams of the future better than the history of the past. Nothing can stop the man with the right mental attitude from achieving his goal. Nothing on earth can help the man with the wrong mental attitude. I tremble for my country when I reflect that God is just, that His justice cannot sleep forever. He who knows best knows how little he knows. One travels more usefully when alone because he reflects more. I believe that every human mind feels pleasure in doing good to another. In matters of style, swim with the current. In matters of principle, stand like a rock. Never spend your money before you have earned it. The man who reads nothing at all is better educated than the man who reads nothing but newspapers. I never considered a difference of opinion in politics, in religion, in philosophy as cause for withdrawing from a friend. Educate and inform the whole mass of the people. They are the only sure reliance for the preservation of our liberty. He who knows nothing is closer to the truth than he whose mind is filled with falsehoods and errors. When angry, count to ten before you speak. If very angry, count to one hundred. Question with boldness even the existence of a god, because if there be one, he must more approve of the homage of reason than that of blindfolded fear. Honesty is the first chapter in the Book of Wisdom. Whenever you do a thing, act as if all the world were watching. If a nation expects to be ignorant and free in a state of civilization, it expects what never was and never will be. The earth belongs to the living, not to the dead. Do you want to know who you are? Don't ask. Act. Action will delineate and define you. Walking is the best possible exercise. Habituate yourself to walk very far.
It does me no injury for my neighbor to say there are 20 gods or no god. The tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. One man with courage is a majority. Money, not morality, is the principle of commerce of civilized nations. Peace and friendship with all mankind is our wisest policy, and I wish we may be permitted to pursue it. Don't talk about what you have done or what you are going to do. I hope our wisdom will grow with our power and teach us that the less we use our power, the greater it will be. Happiness is not being pained in the body or troubled in the mind. The natural progress of things is for liberty to yield and government to gain ground. Taste cannot be controlled by law. Ignorance is preferable to error, and he is less remote from the truth who believes nothing than he who believes what is wrong. The glow of one warm thought is to me worth more than money. There is not a truth existing which I fear, or would wish unknown to the whole world. It takes time to persuade men to do even what is for their own good. Every citizen should be a soldier. This was the case with the Greeks and Romans and must be that of every free state. Only aim to do your duty and mankind will give you credit where you fail. The spirit of resistance to government is so valuable on certain occasions that I wish it to be always kept alive. I cannot live without books. If there is one principle more deeply rooted in the mind of every American, it is that we should have nothing to do with conquest. The God who gave us life gave us liberty at the same time. The second office in the government is honorable and easy. The first is but a splendid misery. Truth is certainly a branch of morality and a very important one to society.
War is an instrument entirely inefficient toward redressing wrong and multiplies instead of indemnifying losses. I think with the Romans that the general of today should be a soldier tomorrow if necessary. It is in our lives and not our words that our religion must be read. As our enemies have found we can reason like men, so now let us show them we can fight like men also. I have seen enough of one war never to wish to see another. Experience hath shewn that even under the best forms of government those entrusted with power have, in time and by slow operations, perverted it into tyranny. Commerce with all nations, alliance with none, should be our motto. Determined never to be idle, no person will have occasion to complain of the want of time who never loses any. It is wonderful how much may be done if we are always doing. It is error alone that needs the support of the government. Truth can stand by itself. Merchants have no country. The mere spot they stand on does not constitute so strong an attachment as that from which they draw their gains. It is neither wealth nor splendor, but tranquility and occupation which give you happiness. Mankind is more disposed to suffer while evils are sufferable than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed. Do not bite at the bait of pleasure till you know there is no hook beneath it. Difference of opinion is advantageous in religion. The several sects perform the office of a censor over each other. It is incumbent on every generation to pay its own debts as it goes, a principle which if acted on would save one half the wars of the world. Errors of opinion may be tolerated where reason is left free to combat it. Nothing gives one person so much advantage over another as to remain always cool and unruffled under all circumstances. Dependence begets subservience and venality, suffocates the germ of virtue, and prepares fit tools for the designs of ambition. We never repent of having eaten too little.
I hope we shall crush in its birth the aristocracy of our moneyed corporations which dare already to challenge our government to a trial by strength and bid defiance to the laws of our country. There is not a sprig of grass that shoots uninteresting to me. I would rather be exposed to the inconveniences of attending too much liberty than those attending too small a degree of it. For a people who are free and who mean to remain so, a well-organized and armed militia is their best security. Always take hold of things by the smooth handle. Where the press is free and every man able to read, all is safe. An injured friend is the bitterest of foes. Which of the quotes do you like the most? Please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.